data. Okay, yeah, not my strongest point, but the point is, I don't like numbers. I don't like numbers and anything. Games where numbers start flying out of people and it, it's just that MMO thing where you have uh, 12, uh, 13, uh, 9. What do the numbers mean? What does that mean? I don't understand. And the same can be said of F1. I, I don't understand the numbers in F1. Okay, I do. I understand the point that lower number on the lap time means good. Higher number, ooh, bad. Very bad. Laps, when they're higher, yes, good, good, you go to win. When they're lower, oh, you might lose, you might lose the whole thing and you might spin off and kill someone. Ooh, bad, apparently. I, I understand that bit of F1. What I don't understand is the whole data thing. I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I really don't like it, in fact. I think the worst part of Formula One is how data-driven it is. We've seen it in recent weeks. We've seen the whole Hulkenberg coming in last minute, literally, jumping in the car on Saturday, going into qualifying, getting 20th position out of 20 cars, and then on Sunday, bangs up the straight and takes everyone aside from the top uh, six, seven, I, I don't remember. I don't remember where Hulkenberg got in the Eiffel Grand Prix, but the point is, yes, F1 is very data-driven, and when it is data-driven like that, when it is such, it just becomes a bit boring. I, I'm not going to shy away from that. Formula One is very boring. I hate it. Kind of. I, I hate the whole uh, go one millionth of a second faster and you get pole position. I, yes. If you thought of that as a driver, that's great. Yeah, you've bettered yourself. But when it's the team saying, okay, you break here a bit later and you'll go a millionth of a second faster, go away. Just go away. I'm bored to death by that. I'm bored to death by one person winning just about every race. And okay, no, I'm not saying anything video. against Lewis Hamilton's record. I'm just saying that it's a bit boring to watch. It's a bit boring to watch as entertainment. The same is said of Verstappen, Bottas, both coming in second or third equally. I, I don't care for that. What I would prefer is a bit of variety, a bit more spontaneity in Formula One. So this is the data that I see when I play Formula One 2020 in recent weeks. I've been playing a bit more... I've been playing with the telemetry options which are basically wiggly lines that result in this is how fast you went, this is where you hit the brakes, this is where you slammed on the accelerator, this is where you're losing traction, this is where you're losing balance, blah de blah de blah de blah, blah. I find that so boring for actual F1. I find that abhorrent when it comes to Oh uh, yeah, Lewis Hamilton wins again. Oh uh, yeah, Bottas comes in second. Oh uh, yeah, Verstappen third. And then everyone else is a bit more exciting because they're actually doing something. They're doing something that's a bit more productive. They're actually fighting for position, whereas everyone else, nah. well, I say everyone else. The top five, let's call them that. Who would be the top five now? It would be Bottas, Hamilton, it would be Verstappen, Albon's not really there yet, there's Perez, but 
you know, Perez is getting shoved out. Uh, Leclerc's up there, so... Uh, that's top couple. Yeah, anyway, the point is... Uh, Formula One's so boring with the data. It's just... Ah! Uh, don't get me started on the whole Amazon Insight thing that they keep going... Oh, Hamilton's tires are going to blow up in the next 10% of their use. How do you know that? That's You don't know that. You don't know when they'll blow up. You don't know their ability to go. Yes, you have a rough guide, but this is the problem. It's a rough guide. You don't know the exact percentage. So, and I quote, Get <laughs> out go get I, I don't like that i really don't yet as i said i've been playing the game a bit more f1 like reading the data looking at it going yes i understand i went faster i don't i really don't i went really fast that time how did i do it well i was fast here i was slow here i dropped a gear here i, I should have been in this race. gear here okay yes yes and then i don't compute any of that to actually playing i don't because this is the thing it's a game yes it is a racing sim yes it is all that boring F1 nonsense, but it's a game. The telemetry, it, while it's interesting to look at, oh, I went 220 miles per hour down the Camel Strait in Spa Francorchamps. How? My brain computing, oh yeah, I did that. Oh yeah, coming over turn five in En Rouge and Radion. Yeah, that. That at 200 miles an hour. Oh, easy. 200 miles an hour over a hill. A bendy hill. You go through three corners at 200 miles an hour, you're in out gone. That's it. And how my brain comprehends that as quickly as it does to place the car where it needs to be and uh, I still love that I still love that feeling of this fast it's fast it's really fast and having some of the data to back that up is a bit fun really it's, that's all it is it's a bit of Ah, yes, I I did that, and uh, uh, ooh, I could maybe tweak my driving style to improve there, and maybe get round here on a better line, and that's where I'm using the data. I still hate it. I uh, I think it's awful, but I I've been using it, and it's I won't say it's improving my driving. I won't say it's proved anything. Times, any of it. Driving, no. Nah. Traction, no. I'm still using the medium setting because when you switch off and you're using a controller. <laughs> no. No, you're not you're not going to survive. The problem with traction control and the PlayStation 4 control is um the fact that the PlayStation 4 control is awful at being very precise with R2. I... There's no two ways about it. That... As much as that does feel like you can be precise enough, I've tried everything to get it just right. And maybe it's just because I'm on coffee all the time and I'm going, yeah... Yeah, mm. going 200 miles an hour across a bend. Ah, oh, easy. Slightly releasing a trigger to not spin out. Oh, no, can't do it. Can't do it. No matter what I do, I cannot comprehend that. 
I actually have the data to back up my claim of 200 miles an hour. I feel weird about that. How? How? My stupid little monkey brain that's clinging to a dying rock that's falling through space just doesn't comprehend how fast that is. Because, yes, while I'm doing it and while it feels fast in the game, it's, it's, that's it, it's gone. That's how fast 200 miles an hour is. And yet, uh, how? Imagine going round a corner at 70 miles an hour. Now, I don't know if you've ever driven at 70 miles an hour or been in a car at 70 miles an hour, but on a motorway, that's kind of fast in a normal car. Now imagine that times two. Okay, now imagine that a bit more. Th that's how fast it is. And it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous to comprehend. Oh yeah, my brain can quickly react to getting out of someone's way or getting in the way of someone else so they can't pass me. I, I know I'm showing Spa again because the last video was Spa, but yeah, I love Spa. It's brilliant. It's fast. Upon Rouge and Radion. Oh, brilliant. Love it. Love it to death. I think it's bloody ace. But the same can be said of other tracks that let you go fast. Okay, not Hanoi because Hanoi's a bit dull. It's just flat, isn't it? It's just... Mm. A bit of the Netherlands. Oh, yeah. Phew. Roller coaster. Ah. Up, down, left, right. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's brilliant. I love it. A bit of spa. Love it. Paul Ricard. Okay, no. That's a tiny hill on the start finish. And then the hill up into turn. Okay, turn one is to the left. Turn two is to the right. Uh, down that kink that would be three numbers numbers i remember tracks a bit too much don't i yes i do but my point is speed speed is brilliant love it love it and then having the data to go oh yeah i can go a little bit faster it's great it's great fun as someone doing it as someone using it but as far as entertainment goes as far as actually being there to watch something, such as F1, um, you know, the thing that you're seeing, it's a bit meh. Just a bit meh. First position, front of the pack, Verstappen behind. 